Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with MLB 13 This Show, and we've got some more Kevin Millar Road to the show coming your way right here. Now this video is going to be a little bit different because you're going to be seeing more than one game. Well, I, I guess that's not the part that's really too different because when Kevin Millar was in the bullpen in AAA, there was a lot of times I did show multiple games. But what is going to be different is we're going to be starting off with the Futures game, and then we're going to make it into the uh, AAA All-Star game. So Kevin Millar in both instances is going to be the starting pitcher. We were able to get Lou Gehrig to the Futures game, which was nice, but we're going to see how much of an impact I have. It starts off not pretty. That's going to be a ground rule double. Hopefully not a sign of things to come right here because these uh, couple games are going to be a real test on what I should expect in the future here because we're playing up against some of the best players in the game here. And, gosh, of course, when I go to MLB, that's for sure the best players in the game. So we'll see what kind of, uh, or what, what kind of uh, at-bats I see, the type of performance with Kevin Millar, too. Kind of let me know if I should fear what's ahead or not, because I did decide to go ahead and take your guys' advice. So the next time that we do see Kevin Millar here, uh, he's going to be wearing a Boston Red Sox uniform unless something crazy happens and he ends up getting simulated because I'm halfway through one season right now, obviously. And then I would have to go through one and a half more seasons to get to uh, Major League Baseball. So I'll be starting off with spring training and everything, but I uh, don't get a chance to be able to play everything. That means I'm going to lose some stuff by way of training. I think I might go ahead and purchase just a couple thousand points to kind of make up for the difference because there really is a difference when I play and when I just simulate. So I don't know. That way it's kind of fair. It's not like I really miss out on anything by way of player progression. But all right, knuckleball goes for ball one right there. Uh, the velocity of the fastball I have been able to max out now. So you're going to be seeing a lot of four-seam fastballs that are around 100 miles an hour. That knuckleball, dang. I still want to make sure that I get my base on balls per nine innings uh, maximized here too because that knuckleball by far causes more balls than anything else. All right, swing and a miss right there. The knuckleball, this is such a deadly combination when you think about it. Knuckleball, 100 mile an hour fastball. Just be guessing you're in trouble. We're gonna go inside. Swings and misses, 99 miles an hour. So we're done with inning number one right here, and it wasn't too bad. I mean, it started off pretty poor with that uh, ground rule double. But, gosh, Kevin Millar definitely has gotten a lot better since uh, we started doing this. But I'm excited for what's to come with the Red Sox. Team's going to look a little bit different in 2015 is we're going to have Strasburg as another one of these starting pitchers, and Hayward is going to be one of the outfielders too. I'm wondering if I'll be able to keep the number 15, actually. I don't know if Pedroia is going to be willing to give that up to some rookie starting pitcher. But I still need to figure out what I'm going to do with Lou Gehrig, too, with his number. But I'm um, kind of excited for spring training when that uh, ends up starting in the next episode. Like I said, that'll be a real test, too. But another strikeout right here. Kevin Millar just doing pretty sweet. All right, so this is giving me a lot of hope for what's to come. All right, knuckleball, just a little comebacker over to Kevin Millar. The throw over to first, no problemo. So I won't be in these games, obviously, for too long. If I could fit two games here in the 11 minutes or 10 minutes or however long it is for these videos, I guess that kind of lets you know uh, I'm not in here for too long. But this is a foolish move just all around, but I wanted to get that catch. All right, so that's going to go ahead and end inning number two, and that's going to be it here for Kevin Millar in this game. The manager of Team USA is absolutely excited with my performance. I was too. Two innings, three Ks. I'll take that any day. All right, so Kevin Millar ends up getting player of the game. That either means I did a really good job or everybody else did a really poor job. I don't even remember if we won or lost this one, but uh, Kevin Millar had a great outing right now, so we're going to go ahead and finish the Futures game, and we're going to head on to the All-Star game, which is played at Chase Field. So I feel like I got a little home field advantage right now since Diamond Dynasty is also played 
at Chase Field with the Dunbar Snack Bars. So the International League versus the Pacific Coast League. I am, of course, on the uh, International League team. <laughs> Took me a second there. But I don't know. This might be a little bit different. Because I don't know if uh, the Futures game includes double-A players or, or how it's all set up. I mean, since I didn't get the Operation Sports roster, I'm not really uh, in the know with some of those players. But a little comebacker. That works, no problem. Got a lot of confidence right here in this game. I mean, if we have a good Futures game, we've got to have a good triple-A game, actually. So, knuckleball. Goes for ball one. The drift on there, just that's what makes a knuckleball so tough to throw um, in this game. So I need to work on stamina as well because there's going to be a lot of times I'm going to be throwing ones that are outside of the strike zone, not intentionally, but just because it's a knuckleball. So if I can get that up all the way, I'll be good. I think I'll do that with some of the uh, training points that I purchase or, you know, just from simulating. Knuckleball works again. I did select uh, when I created Kevin Millar to have a dominant pitch. And the first pitch, of course, was the knuckleball. So I'm asked to throw it quite a bit. But that four-seamer, I'm going to keep going with that one too. It's just crazy like how quickly they have to swing to be able to make contact with it. And that timing, if it's off just by a little bit, I mean, we're looking at another strike there. Uh, I do enjoy the fact that the four-seam fastball is definitely the most accurate pitch that I have. Even if it drifts away, like right there, it can still do a lot of good. So we've got another strikeout right here. Inning one so far for the All-Star game has been nice. Now with Kevin Millar, too, getting selected to the All-Star game, he does get a, uh, some extra training points. He gets 400 just for being selected. There we go with inning number one. So that 400 points, it's going to be well spent for sure. I'm glad I was able to make it here. And I didn't know what to expect because with Lou Gehrig, I was able to get into the future game, but not into the all-star game. I think it was just because he came into it late. But Kevin Millar giving up a hit right here. Not pretty. And then I don't know what the catcher was doing. Sleeping? I don't know. It's a knuckleball. I mean, you really don't have to wait. I mean, you do get a chance to be able to wait for it to come to you. And there I go, giving up a home run. So we were up 2 to nothing. Now the game is tied right there. It's not too often that I give up home runs. That's what, I think three? I think it's been three that I've given up here. But a little comebacker. Throw to first. No problemo. My phone's going off. I should probably turn that down. But it's okay. We don't have that much left in the video, so maybe I'm not going to worry about it at all. All right. Going gets popped straight up. Catcher there to be able to make the play. Probably could have sat there and chowed down on some food with the amount of time that that one hung up in the air. All right. So I think I'm just going to be in here again for two innings. Another hit, though. It's all right. I just got to get one out. It's going to be easy. I'll probably strike him out right here. All right. 0-1 count right now. Asked to throw the four-seamer. And I do that, and I pay the price. Two home runs in one inning. I have never, ever had an inning like that. In fact, I've actually doubled my home run total in this one game. So, does this make me nervous now? Yeah, absolutely it makes me nervous for what lies ahead here for Kevin Millar. But anyway, that is going to be the end of the inning for Kevin Millar and the rest of the International League players. I'm just going to go ahead, simulate forward. We end up losing 5-4. to four. So, if I had pitched a little bit better... We would have won this one. And I think of all the times that I've been yelled at by a manager or been talked to, this one is probably the most well-deserved. But anyway, I'm not going to get player of the game for the All-Star game, that's for sure. So I'll have to go ahead and be content with the Futures game. I appreciate you guys watching this video. I definitely do remember next video we're going to be seeing Kevin Millar in the Red Sox uniform. So that is going to be really cool. 
So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great jazz. All you got to do is check the description below. But you are phenomenal people. Do not ever forget that. And also do not forget that we have got the charity live stream on June 1st and then June 2nd to benefit water.org. So make sure that you come by and that you help us out with that too. Information, of course, with that uh, to come later on. But thanks again, you guys. I appreciate it. And as always, I hope you have a good one.